sign of the holy cloth of our Lord Jesus Special Christ. prosthetic makeup effects have given us some of the most memorable moments in film. As a kid, I was captivated by these creations. I learned how challenging it was to imitate them as I began my own prosthetic career. In Hollywood, successfully imitating a real person over the face of a capable actor will win you an Oscar. Here are the top five Oscar winning films that captured the real life people they were portraying using prosthetics. Number five, Eric Stoltz as Rocky Dennis. In 1985, Mask, starring 80s heartthrob Eric Stoltz, played disfigured Rocky Dennis alongside Cher. The actual Rocky Dennis was afflicted with lionitis, an extremely rare bone disorder. The makeup on Stoltz was so extreme and believable, audiences felt empathy for the character, which enhanced Stoltz's portrayal. The makeup designed by Michael Westmore earned him an Oscar for his achievement. Number four, Charlize Theron is Eileen Warnos. Charlize Theron embodies Hollywood glamour. At the height of her career, gorgeous South African Theron played a serial murderer and prostitute from Michigan named Eileen Warnos in 2004's Monster, and Tinseltown took notice. To achieve this character, Theron gained 30 pounds and wore prosthetic teeth. The weathered skin coloring applied finalized her shocking transformation and facilitated her powerful performance. So powerful, in fact, she nabbed the Oscar for Best Actress in 2004. Number 3. Martin Landau as Bella Lugosi. Tim Burton's 1994 classic Ed Wood featured an aging and cantankerous Bella Lugosi played by Martin Landau. Bella famously portrayed the original bloodsucker in the 1931 film Dracula and cemented his name in horror history. By recreating Lugosi's most definable features, Landau touchingly and humorously portrayed Lugosi in his remaining years. Both Martin Landau and effects wizard Rick Baker won Oscars for their efforts. Number two, F. Murray Abraham as Antonio Salieri. Makeup legend Dick Smith designed and applied an aged Salieri on Abraham who played Mozart's lesser counterpart in 1984's Amadeus. The film won eight Oscars, including best actor for F. Murray Abraham and best makeup for Dick Smith, whose career spans several decades and many groundbreaking and influential films. Number 1. John Hurt as Joseph Merrick. There are times when the physical characteristics of the individual being portrayed in a film are so extreme that an actor can't rely on performance alone. This was the case with 1980's The Elephant Man. The film features Joseph Merrick, who suffered from Proteus Syndrome that affected all of his body. Originally, director David Lynch wanted to create the makeup prosthetics himself. Realizing he did not possess the technical skills, at the last minute hired Chris Tucker with the task of creating an Elephant Man likeness. Working from a death mask of Merrick, Tucker tirelessly recreated Merrick's facial contours over the face of actor John Hurt who was literally unrecognizable as himself. Most shockingly, it didn't win an Oscar. So why is it number one on our list? Makeup prosthetics have made prominent appearances from the very beginning of motion pictures. Silent film star Lon Chaney famously used his makeup kit to transform himself into the iconic Hunchback of Notre Dame and the Phantom of the Opera. As the film technology evolved over the years, so too did the prosthetics. The Wizard of Oz endeared audiences to characters for generations with its timeless makeup effects. Despite this monumental achievement, the Academy of Motion Arts and Sciences never created a category for makeup. The only exception was given to John Chambers for his groundbreaking work on the Planet of the Apes in 1968, for which he received a special Academy Award. Take your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! This changed after The Elephant Man's release in 1980. People in the industry were appalled that the makeup wasn't being recognized for its obvious achievement. The Academy finally recognized it as a category the following year with An American Werewolf in London in 1981. Jesus Christ. The most groundbreaking effect came during the werewolf transformation sequence. 
makeup effects prodigy Rick Baker became the first and one of the most prolific Oscar winners of all time. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. I hope you found it entertaining and maybe you learned something you didn't know. If you like this one, check out some of the other videos down here. Leave any questions and comments below and I will see you soon. Thanks, bye.